Okay, so I filmed this video before already, but then I was like, I watched it over and I was blabbing on and on and on about how I had a bad day that day. <sighs> school is stressful sometimes. It's not even school itself. It's the teachers and the students who stress me out sometimes. Okay, anyways, but um, I knew I was kind of happy. When I got home, because I was expecting um, my Coastal Sense makeup that I bought a few days ago before it came. And I already knew it was going to come because of my tracking number. said it was going to come on the 21st of October, which is also my daddy's birthday. And oh my god, you guys are going to trip out. So my dad, like he, uh, okay, he was working and like this big ass, like this big tire just like smashed his fingers and like, chopped him off and well it broke his fingers and then the little pinky was like down here and so I was really freaky because that morning I woke up <clears throat> I woke up crying because I had a dream that my dad died so I was like you know how you have those kind of dreams and you wake up with those, with those same emotions so I woke up crying and I was like oh you know I called my boyfriend because he was at work that day and I told him my story my dream and then my dad calls me later on that night and tells me that something bad had happened to him. And it's so freaky how that happened. It was so weird. I've been having nightmares a lot lately. I'm going to show you what I got from Coastal Sense. So if you do freelance um, or you're just, you know, you're just like collecting makeup like myself. Um, you know, I'm not like, I don't consider myself really a freelancer because it's not like it's really my job. Um... I do it occasionally, like I've done a couple events, but it's not like I have business cards or anything. But I'm really trying to get into that motion because as the years go by, as the months go by, I learn more techniques and I think I just get better over time because I practice. So even if I'm not doing a video on YouTube, I practice on myself like late at night when I'm bored. If you're freelancing or you have clients that are on the fair side or on the darker side or you're just a beginner in makeup and you really don't have a clue as to what concealer works for you, um, I got this palette and it's a camouflage concealer palette. And this one I have been wanting for the longest time. And here you go. You have light to dark. And I'm right here in the middle. I wear these two actually. Right here. Because I used to be darker, but now I'm not as dark. But I used to be darker. Like in high school, they're like, who, Candy the dark one? Yeah, that's what it was. And now it's like, who, Candy the skinny one? Because I guess it was thicker in high school. That Anyways. And I also got the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. <sighs> I know I don't need it, but I just wanted it because it has like all these beautiful warm colors. And um, it doesn't have a black one, but the darkest one, which is this one, is a dark brown. So it works really well for this palette because you can still create a smoky eye since it's really dark. But it's not going to be like, bam, in your face, I'm so dark, you know? And then I also got the Creative Me palette, number one. Looks like this. This is quite heavy because it contains a big mirror, which is really cool. See, it has a really big mirror. Mm, you can see inside of my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like weird. And so here's the mirror. Whoa. And it contains all these really beautiful colors. Really vibrant, pigmented like there's no tomorrow they're super pigmented look at this pink one like look see like they're so pigmented and I love it but it's really colorful don't feel like you have to stick to this like create a big old rainbow eye you can work with one color at a time and smoke it out with some neutrals from like this 88 warm palette so it's definitely very versatile. You have a lot of really pretty colors, though. Um, they also sell them individually. So these are like the hot pants, I believe. And you can take these out. And, you know, they're magnetic, so they stick on. And they have the name in the back, which is more of a number. Coastal Sands Hot Pots. And they sell the case individually as well, I believe. And you can just create your own palette. But I got mine like this. 
and they also fit your MAC eyeshadow. So if you have any single ones, you can get this palette instead of the other one if you want. Who knows? And then I also got the Kamo Quad <laughs> in medium because that's um, my skin tone. So you get these here. This one works really well as a highlight and they're super, super duper creamy. Like, they're so creamy. They just glide on so nicely as well as the, um, the concealers from this palette. They glide on really good. <coughs> oh my god, I am like choking. I'm drinking Kool-Aid and then it just gave me a brain freeze because it's really cold. Anyways... I also got the uh, other Kamo Quad in correct color corrector, and just pretty much it has like a purple, baby blue, yellow, and green, and this helps to correct any other shades. Last but not least, the brushes are like my favorite thing from their website. Um, I'll tell you a little bit in a minute, but... <laughs> So I got this powder brush, which is like the 150 um, by MAC. It's a jumbled chisel powder brush. Looks like this. Really super soft and big. The handle is quite short, but that's fine. I already used these. Oh, this is the other brush that I got. This is the flat bronzer brush. Looks like this. It's really flat. Really flat from the top, as you can see. And the bristles are really tight, like they're really compacted and they're really, really good. So you get like really good coverage when you're doing your foundation. And I use this for <clears throat> um, my liquid foundation and it works amazing. I will show you my updated foundation routine in the future. But anyways, and I also got some gel concealer, um, gel liners. I got it in Skyline, which is an amazing blue. And they are so creamy and like intensely pigmented it's so amazing um and it works really good if you have like a very neutral outfit and you just want to add a touch of color to your eyes just you can do like crazy blue liner and that's it and i also got summer fun which is more of a bronze looks like it's drying out i hope not and that's all I got from Coastal Scents. Um, I got a few things from CBS that I want to share with you that I've been using for a while. Since I'm not doing like favorites of the month at this moment, I'm not going to do some for this month. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I got. Um, I've been using the Nivea Cream um, Body. I used it as a face moisturizer, but you can use it for your hands your body, your feet, anything. And it's really thick. See? Really super thick. <laughs> I have this and just in case it falls. And it smells like my grandma. It smells really good. I love my grandma. It smells like her. I think she uses something like this because it really smells like her. But it's really thick so if you have um, like acne prone skin I wouldn't recommend it because I feel like it would clog your pores because it doesn't glide on like a moisturizer like it's really thick but I love it and moisturizes my skin like super good so I would recommend it if you have like skin that's not sensitive because I don't have sensitive skin at all whatsoever um, and I also picked up this um, this eyeliner by L'Oreal and it's in what is this in carbon black and it's a felt tip liner so I find it that I get like more control <clears throat> when I do my eyeliner when I use a felt tip or a cream liner like my own brush All right so this is the covergirl outlast lip stain and I got it at CVS as well and it's really good because it gives you kind of like it's a lip stain so it, m it makes your lips look like you just drink some red kool-aid I don't know if you guys like that but I do like they look just like red and like I don't know and here's the close-up kind of looks like a marker and then you just pretty much apply this like that all over I'm not gonna put this on because I already have like crazy makeup on my eyes but it 
like if you put a lot of it, it makes you look like you have red lips, which is really cool. Um, it gives you a stain. And for a foundation, lately I've been using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer in neutral to 1040. It's just a tinted moisturizer. Um, gives me enough coverage just to kind of even out my skin tone, but I wouldn't use this alone. It's not enough. But obviously, if, you know, just for any, like, a lazy day, if you don't want to put any foundation on, you can just put this on your hands, go like this, rub it on, set it with powder, and you're done. And that's all that I wanted to show. Oh, my God, I can't believe I forgot. This is an Essence of Beauty brush cleanser, and it's really good. It's like, um, I use this for spot cleaning my brushes. So, if I'm working, use the Estee Lauder brush cleanser, but that one, it doesn't come in a spray bottle, and it's really like, I gotta pour it, and blah, 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 so it, I keep it in the bathroom just for like deep cleaning my brushes, but this one, it's really great because it's in a spray form, so you just spray it on, the only thing is that it smells like really strong, like alcohol, so... If you don't like that scent or you're just like, oh my god, alcoholic, whatever. I don't care. Like, you know, I don't pay that much attention to stuff like that. But if you guys do, like, let me show you. Dirty. Let's do a little test. Dirty. You just spray it on. It's really cool to brush. And Kleenex. Probably works better. See? Some of the stuff already came out. So if you're doing an eyeshadow look... And you want to use the same brush, but it has, like, color already. It evaporates really quickly, I think, because it does contain a lot of alcohol. And you can just clean it on the spot and use it again. So your brush feels dry already. That's a good thing about it. But I don't know if you guys are, like, you know, against alcohol or something, because I know some people are. Anyways, um, that is all that completes the haul. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.